everyone! Welcome back to my Let's Play of 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Uh, when we last left off, sorry, I'm trying to open a thing on my phone really quick. There we go. Okay, yeah, when we last left off, we um, did Wave 10 of Shibugaki City, I believe, and uh, that was the closest I came to someone dying, and that was only because apparently I wanted Shu to just take some hits for us. Um, but no, I, I wasn't really paying attention, I guess, to what the one um, upgraded, what was it? Twin tail could do? Yeah, the twin tail X or something. Um, but, ah, uh, we did okay. And then we went through it and we finished up Ryoko's storyline. And you guys, thankfully, you know, helped clarify the confusion I was having. So basically, the uh, Ryoko of the future said that she um, sicked the kaiju on humanity, basically. Sorry, I had to fix my headset if you heard that. Um, and that's different from her putting the DD-426 virus into the Sentinels during the battle in 2060. Uh, 2064, whatever year that was in the 60s. Okay, it's been a while since that happened, so my apologies for forgetting, but thank you guys for being quick to tell me what I was misremembering. So, the one in the future basically caused the kaiju to start attacking out of spite for Tetsuya, where this Ryoko, the one we just saw, kind of thought she was doing something good by Tetsuya's hand. He was like, hey, this is actually an upgrade, and she's like, okay, I trust you, uh, you know, without even questioning anything you tell me, so yikes on that regard. Um, but poor Yoko, you know, she kind of had a rough, I think, um, in the end. Um, and speaking of Ryoko, so I thought that the nanomachines were only in the brain. Turns out they're in the brain and the body. So thank you, Sophie, for clarifying. So the nanomachines separating in the brain doesn't mean they can't pilot the sentinel because they have them in their body. Okay, that's, you know, details I need to have figured out. So. Poor Ryoko um, had it rough, losing her memories, not knowing what's going on, finding out she's done terrible things. Like, I, I feel for her even though she shot uh, Natsuno, which I'm not okay with. But uh, I want to let you guys know, um, moving on, I, off screen, I went through and did, let me see, I wrote it down on my phone. That's why I was opening at the beginning of the video. Um, I redid Area 1 Wave 2 where we didn't finish the bonus objective for having Fuyasaka on the team, which is just because I didn't read. And then I redid this one, which we need to clear in 50 seconds for the bonus objective, both of which were very easy with sentries and interceptors. So I didn't want to show you guys because it'd be kind of boring. Um, you've seen the battles, you've seen the cutscenes. So I just want to show you guys the things we unlocked. We also got some mystery points. So we'll spend those, and then we'll go on and um, finish up, I think, Tomi and maybe Shoes today if we have time, both of their uh, timelines. So hope you guys are doing well. Sorry that was a lot of talking. I wanted to address all those things to make sure we're all on the same page. Um, but yeah, so let's unlock DD-426. Uh, DD-426 is the program code that Tetsuya Ida gives to Ryoko Shinonome, supposedly to greatly increase the Sentinel's capabilities. Shinonome ends up installing this in the Sekigahara Sentinel. Poor Sekigahara. Everyone thinks he's evil because of that. Morimura and Renyagoto try to get Shinonomi to remember the password that disables DD-426, but it results in failure and causes her to lose all her memories. Ugh, poor Ryoko. I feel like she just got used and then just was like misunderstood, you know what I mean? Um, yakitori. The chef's masterpiece uses chicken fresh off the farm and sweet, crunchy, long onions ugh, that are doused and grilled in a secret sauce. It's forever a mystery how the flavor seems to gradually change every day, satisfying both the long-time regulars and first-time visitors. This is the one we got from Area 2 Wave 1 for the bonus objective. Uh, let's see, 2025 Can Soda 1. Valkyrie. Whoa. Is that named after? There's someone on YouTube. Oh, Valky Ray, but her symbol looks like that. Interesting. Um, I've been watching a lot of her um, Among Us videos recently. That's why I thought of that. Uh, Valkyrie is a can soda that Nenji found for Tomi in the 2025 ruins. No matter how tired you are, one sip of this energy drink will recharge you instantly. Okay, I could use that. Uh, this one, Fuyusaka Student ID, I got from Area 1 Wave 2. So, Student ID for Sakura High School. Yori Fuyusaka dropped this on her way to school when she bumped into Sekigahara. After Sekigahara lost his memories, he finds the student ID in his pocket and realizes that it belongs to Class 1B Yori Fuyusaka of Sakura High School. Although Sekigahara recognizes Fuyusaka's face, he can't remember how he knows her. And this makes sense, his memory loss, right? Because he got infected with the, uh, the uh, DD-426. It was him, uh, Izumi, and uh, Ryoko. So he obviously started to lose his memories as a result of the separation in his brain. So that would explain his amnesia, right? So, okay. Clarity, that's good. Everything's connecting together. Okay, so I think those are the only ones unlocked. Yep, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. 47%, let me save really quick. Pretty nice. Um, and then we're gonna go in and let's do Tony's. 
Woo, woo, woo. Also, oh, I wanted to say, it actually happened while I was uploading um, yesterday's video. We reached a thousand views on the first episode of this series. That's insane. Thank you guys, every single one of you for watching this, even if you're not, st I mean, I guess if you're not still watching, you won't hear this, but if you can hear me out there, thank you for just even giving my channel a chance. Um, this series has done really well for the channel. It warms my heart. Um, I hope I can find more games to play for you guys in the future. I'm working on it right now, trying to find some new ones. Um, but yeah, thank you guys. I just wanted to say that really quick. It made me so happy to reach that milestone. Um, uh, so yeah, let's just go on. Let's keep going with Tomi before I get too sappy. So uh, let's see. Using the underground gate, Tomi and the others returned to 1985. Oh, but Miyoko was nowhere to be found. That's right. Last time we lost Miyoko, she got left behind. And we found out about universal control. Right, because we ran into Sakigahara in uh, 2025 uh, with Nenji and Miyoko. Ah, uh, that, I'm so sad for her. Okay, let's go in. Hopefully we can get her back. I don't know. Universal Control's got it out for my girl Miwako. Oh, there she is. After returning. Look, Izumi, or Juro, sorry, is just staring out the window so dramatically. Usami-chan, I've been meaning to tell you. I found a cafe with some amazing looking cakes. Shall we go there after school? That's the same thing you said before we left. Hmm? You've been acting strange today. <sighs> Ooh. Wait, so does she not remember leaving? Maybe... I don't know, maybe Universal Control rewrote her memories? I don't know. We went to the ruined future. You really don't remember? You said that this morning, too. I've never heard of ruined future. What kind of shop is it? <sighs> hmm, interesting. Oh, yeah. We went way deep underground. You were freaking out. You've got to remember that, right? Underground? You mean the downstairs food court at the mall? Oof. Um, no. Uh, um, no. She doesn't remember a thing about what just happened. That's not something you can just forget. It's more like... Her memories were rewritten. As if she never went there at all. But the school marked us absent those days. But she's acting like she's been here the whole time. It's crazy. Did that underground computer do this? Yeah, Tomi, I feel you, girl. I feel you. I'm thinking the same thing. Sunset. Oh, God. Not, not the train station, please. Hey. I'm glad you remember, at least. Miwako has no memory of the whole ordeal. To her, it's like nothing ever happened. And Shinonome Senpai, she doesn't even remember my face. So that's what Sekigahara meant about being managed. Damn. If that's true, then everyone here's in the same boat, right? My mom, the people of my city, maybe they're all hidden somewhere, being monitored. It all comes down to that underground computer. I bet it has the answers. <sighs> I'm... I'm gonna go back there. What? Dude, are you crazy? The place is crawling with androids. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. <laughs> Dumbass, you'll die. Besides, how the hell do you plan on getting there? That's like everyone in every horror movie. Um, I'm pretty good at hiding. What? <laughs> if we use the gate again, we can return to that era. Do you even know how? Uh... I don't think Morimura would be much help. And Shinonome-senpai? She was looking at me real suspiciously. Oh! I know! Sekigahara-kun! 
I'll find him and... Calm down. Just think about it for a sec. You really want to mess with that thing? Shit's dangerous. And you know, if you get stranded again, you might be stuck for good. I guess when you put it like that... Oh no. Maybe you've got a point. I should slow down and think a little. But still. Oh my god, I just started panicking because that's literally how his train station thing opens. Right there is her saying that. I was like, oh god, here it comes. Please don't put me in a loop again. Now that I think about it, why do you care? Don't tell me. You're worried about me that much? Am I really that important to you? Oh, shut up. Ah. Go ahead and die for all I care. Ah. Oh. It's just... I'd feel pretty shitty being the one who let you do it. Huh. So that's how it is. So... what? You want me to just sit on my ass until something happens? I get it, alright? We'll think of something together. Just don't go rushing off on your own. Alright, here I go rushing off on my own. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see. Can I go? No, okay. Uh, is the gangsters over here? They are. Well, look what we got. Oh, I can skip it. Oh, damn, okay. Come on, you're fighting again? Stop that! Hey, stay out of this, idiot. What do we got? Whoop. Hey, stop it! That's only a taste of what you deserve. Asshole. Asshole. The train's already here. Can't move, hello. Oh. Whatever you want. Dude, come on, let's go. Let's get on the train. Am I gonna die? I can't keep waiting around like this. <sighs> we'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. Ooh, I wonder does the attack happen like he was seeing? Oh no, a few weeks later. Okay. Another day, another waste of time. Where am I? Oh, the shrine. There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh, stop it, me! If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. Believe in the me that believes in you, tell me. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Uh, just hope really hard. Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Huh? Oh! Here we are, 1985. <sighs> do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okino. Don't worry. I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our tracks. See you. Hi. I saw Ooh. that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Finally found my inn. So... You 
you there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino-kun. A guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right? Uh... Now then. Won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. Damn, Tomi blackmail. Wow. What? Oh, Jesus. Uh, 3850, meta chips, two mystery files, three event archives. Damn, Tomi. You are scary. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, unlock condition to Amaguchi's idol in orbit. Okay. So that's related to what we saw in the battle, right? She said she was chilling in orbit. Uh, it says two things got updated. Oh, here we go. Uh, Sawatari has no recollection of the time she got left behind in the 2025 ruins. Yeah, poor Miwako, man. That had to be terrifying. She got left behind with all the androids. Like, oof. Hard pass. Okay, I guess the other one hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay. So, now we're locked by Shu. So, let's go finish Shu's. I guess it makes sense because he, like, loves her. You know what I mean? So, he, like, built the android of her. So, they're interconnected. And then, like, Mira and uh, Natsuno were interconnected with Yuki, who's also, you know, her mom. And so it's, like, it's super cool how they're all connected. It's uh, It's been done really well, I think. Um, so let's see. Uh, Shiomaguchi was shifted into a sentinel, uh, ended up in space. Oh, when he returned to the surface, Tetsuya Ida pressed him to cooperate. That's right. He was like, hey, you better help me. Takami, oh, and then he's like, Takamiya, tell me it isn't true that you've been working for them. And she was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, oh, my motorcycle girl betrayed me. Okay, so it looks like we might finish him off. He's at 85%. So um, let's uh, go. Cool. Oh, right, really quick, by the way. Uh, in the last battle, so I had my sound on my TV down too much. So I didn't hear her singing during the battle. But afterwards, obviously, when I... Uh, was uploading the video I heard it and I was like damn it sounds so cool like it's so anime like doing a big battle and like having the uh, like singer in the background and a couple of you commented that it reminded you of I can't remember what you referenced but it's funny I was like oh yeah there you go so I'm glad I'm glad they had that that was super, a super cool moment I wish I had heard it while I was doing the battle so sorry I didn't like acknowledge it I wasn't skipping it I just didn't hear it I don't know what's wrong with my TV sound but I just wanted to point that out really quick uh, pretty cool that they had the idol singing during battle I like that a lot Back home. Where's my boy at? There he is. Those government spooks are keeping an eye on me. At this rate, they could just take me away and nobody would ever know. Ooh, I hope not. Okay. Speak to me, idol. <sighs> not here today. It reminds me of, um, I don't know if you, there's an anime called, oh god, I don't remember what the English name is, but it's Full Moon Wosakashite. It's like, um, this girl who, like, uh, has some kind of, like, cancer or something in her throat. Like, basically, like, these, like, Shinigami, I think that's what they're called, um, give her the ability to sing, and she becomes, like, a popular idol. So every time I see Miyuki Inaba, I think of her. That was, like, one of the first animes and, uh, manga I, like, fell in love with. So, random, random fun fact. Okay, what am I doing? Oh. Uh. So she was watching me this whole time? On behalf of that shady outfit? Is that why she approached me at all? Yuki-chan. No, wait. I'm the one who approached her. Yeah. And she has to keep an eye on me? Well, hey. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. The romance in these games is so bizarre. So she's been monitoring me this whole time? She's actually some Secret Service government spy? That's crazy. Also, not gonna lie, weirdly hot. Yikes. Super yikes. Let me just do these really quick. Oh! Shukun, please help me. I'm coming. Oh, oh, it. Okay, really? There we go. Hey! Who? Wait, wait, what do you mean, eliminated? There's so much I still don't get here. I need a real explanation. I know. But I had to hack my way in to reach you. Like an 
Say he. You mean Tetsuya Ida? Yes. Why is he after you? Because I'm helping you. I was right. He's trying to reset Project Ark. He wants to reset it. What would that do? The world would be destroyed by Kaiju. Everything will be gone. They want to start over. They want to restart this world from the beginning. They've done it before. And a reset means you would be erased too. Okay, so that's another thing I think I misspoke last time when I was saying how Tetsuya and Morimura have conflicting goals, basically. So I I I can't I don't speak well sometimes, as you guys probably noticed. So Tetsuya wants to restart, but Morimura, I believe, doesn't. Right, she wants to do Operation Aegis, which basically, I think, nullifies the ability to restart. Um, I believe. I could be wrong still. But, so he's trying to keep Miyuki, who is some kind of AI or an actual person, like, in orbit in, like, the space station that they showed. I think she's trying to, she's trying to recode something um, to help them, I think, succeed in Operation Aegis or destroying the Kaiju, you know, one of the two. So she's not on Tetsuya's side. So he's just trying to keep the project alive. Project Ark, basically, I guess. You're talking about Kaiju now? You've already seen them. <sighs> you mean those things in my dreams? The Sentinels were built to fight those Kaiju. To defend the world you call home. So it's just space beyond the enclosure walls. That means we're in some huge spaceship, right? Why does all of this exist? Why cover up the truth? There is a supercomputer hidden below your town. We call it Universal Control. It has led you to believe you live in Japan, in a certain historical era. Why? Possibly to make your lives easier? Possibly to make you easier to manage. Even I couldn't tell you the real reason. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So I guess they're just trying to get humanity to survive, right? Because they were trying to reset to a point before the nanomachine technology sort of ruined everything. Where humanity got beyond what it should be able to do with technology. Interesting. Okay. So why are you trying to help us? You still don't know who I am. You and I have met many times in your dreams. Inaba Miyuki. Miyuki. Oh, are you Yuki-chan? No, I'm not Yuki-chan. Shukun, you really don't know? in your dreams. Please think a little harder. Oh. I, I didn't know I was supposed to get it right. I was just, you know, <laughs> going in order. Um, Tomi? That dream? Miyuki. Oh, that song. From my dream. You don't mean... You're... You finally realized. This is how I got past universal control. I sang on an inconspicuous broadcast with all my heart, just like I used to. Kisaragi. Yes, it's me, but a different Tomi Kisaragi from the one in your world. I'm not human anymore, just data on a computer. But that's exactly how I can still help you. Aww, Tommy. God, that breaks my heart. She's been reaching out to me. Using my TV set to break through the walls that separate us. She's the Tomi Kisaragi I saw in my dreams. The Tomi Kisaragi who has no body left. Just a mind inside a machine. Man, Tommy though. Oh no. 
He's at Sector 3's terminal. Help me, Shukun. If we don't stop him, he'll erase me. What should I do? Inside the outer walls. I hid your sentinel in... Hey! No, come on! Don't leave me hanging like this! We have to go help our girl. She's gone. What happens if I go there? Can I really make a difference? Yes. I can already tell this is gonna be a huge mess. Nope. Nope. A girl has asked for my help. I can't just run away from this. I'll go. Then I'll figure out the rest when I get there. Go, go, go! Oh! Any sudden moves and I shoot. Shino Nome Senpai. The door was locked. How did you get in? I broke the lock. With that gun? There was an agent, too. I put him to sleep. All right. You were at the park with him. Were you with the Shady Spy Bureau, too? Yes. So, what do you want with me? I need your sentinel. My sentinel? Call it here. That's a thing I can do? I have no idea how. Senpai, I'm sorry. But I've got something I need to do. You want me to shoot you? I have to go stop Ida. <sighs> huh? Sounds like we're on the same side. Oh, damn. Really? Yes! Shinonome, yes! Past the tunnel? Yeah. That's where the sentinel's hidden. Apparently. That's some sentinel. It must weigh hundreds of tons. How does it fly in the air? But what I really don't understand is how you controlled it without any problems. Piloting a sentinel damages you. Like what happened to me. So most people can't operate them. What? You mean piloting a sentinel did all that stuff to you? No, it's not too late to turn back. It is too late. Easy, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna give up now. A girl's in trouble. You know where you're going, don't you, Senpai? There are two terminals that have been analyzed so far. Sector 1 and Sector 3. But we can only get into one of them. That'd be the terminal in Sector 3. Not really sure I'm following here. Mr. Ida was supposed to take me with him. But he took Takamiya-san instead. Yuki-chan? What's he planning with Yuki-chan? He needed biometric ID from one of us. It's the only way he can access the terminal. But now he's put the gate into lockdown. That means a sentinel's the only way to shift in. It's just up ahead. Inside the outer walls. Thought my game broke for a second. Okay, we're fine. Wait. Are you okay? What is this place? The outer walls of the spaceship, I guess. It's a spaceship? What are you talking about? Oh, whoa, uh... Okay, so you never found out that part. It's a long story. This doesn't make sense. How could there be a facility like this in a tunnel? I don't know how, but there is. Let's look for the Sentinel. Literally, Yamaguchi's me. I don't know how, but this stuff does make sense somehow. <laughs> Sentinel, where are- oh, hi. It's really here. The one I saw at the park. Miyuki and Abba hid it here. So, now what? Well, 
activate it. Yeah, but how? How did you do it before? I don't know, it just kind of happened. Uh... What about your activation switch? You should have one somewhere on your body. A switch? Where nanomachines were shot into you. That's where code was injected into your system. So that should be where your switch is. <sighs> oh yeah, I got shot. I think she got me... right around here? Swipe across it. See if that starts things up. Here goes nothing. Get all Megumi shooting me in the so face. I just swipe it like this. Moon crystal powers. No, I'm kidding. Oh, Sector 3, flying over the underground. What happened here? It's like a world after an apocalypse. That sucker high. It looks a lot like where we live. No, it's in ruins. But that is our city. We were in Sector 4. What you're looking at is Sector 3. Okay. So there really is more than one enclosure. It's down there. The bottom of that hole is the terminal. Looks like we'll fit right through. I guess we're going down. Miyuki and Abba. Back in my... The way Miyuki... Miyuki and Abba needs my help. I have to stop Ida somehow, or else he's going to erase her. It doesn't matter. I don't care what group Yuki-chan's wrapped up in. I'm going to save her. Aw, he's a good guy. Yuki! Freeze! Any closer and I shoot her. So, found a way through on Shu Amiguchi's Sentinel? I suppose this is because I chose Takamiya-kun over you. Those emotional impulses of yours really do try my patience. That's not why, Mr. Ida. <gasps> You're Tetsuya Ida, huh? I know about you. I've seen a lot of your past. Well, that's inconvenient. She's still transplanting memories, then. Well, I know you, too. Perhaps better than anyone else could. After all, I've known you all your life. Ever since I dropped you off as a newborn. Dropped me off? I placed you into the Amiguchi family as a child. Then you're saying... You are genetically identical to me. You are Tetsuya Ida. <sighs> you see Ryoko's face. 
She's like, man, I'm about to flip my lid. Yuki Chan's got nothing to do with this. Let her go. I'm afraid she's a vital part of the process. I need her biometrics to access the computer. You should know this is partly your fault. Up until now, I had simply been borrowing your ID. But then you had to go and access your Sentinel. Which means authorization has been restored to you. Yuki-chan, don't worry. We're gonna get you out of this. Amiguchi. You have feelings for Yuki Takamiya, I take it? Yeah, I love her. You know, under any other circumstances, it'd be fascinating. Genetically identical, but our experiences made us very different people indeed. A shame. There is nothing you can do to change this. <sighs> Miyuki... Inaba? Ida-kun. So here you are at last. Your singing gave you away. I recognized it instantly. I'm still your biggest fan, believe it or not. Itakun, please. Think this over. I have to start things over for the two of us. This is a mistake. I'm afraid you're the one who's mistaken. It's too late. This place will be gone soon enough anyway. Or do you have some other option to share? I forgot. Yeah, he wants to start over because he lost Tomi, right? So it's it's selfish, but it's not, you know, it's not not understandable. It love, I think I said it before in the series, love is like one of the most powerful motives, you know what I mean, for anything, honestly. So like, I feel for him, because he just wants Tomi to survive, I think. Oh, Miyuki Inaba said something about this. She said she knew me through my ID. Probably because he's the one she was trying to track. Stop! I won't let you erase her! Erase her? Please. I love Tomi Kisaragi. There's no need for anything as drastic as that. But I do need to silence her as a precautionary measure. You can cut off communications, but I'm not going to give up. I don't need to cut off communications. It doesn't matter where you are. After all, you're a Sentinel AI now. She's in a Sentinel? And I happen to have command authorization over the Sentinels. All of them up to number 19. That's impossible. Wait, Itakun. I'm in orbit right now. I'm watching this all from the command ship's computer. And I can see everything. I know what'll happen to that whole area. The reset will change everything. It'll all be broken down and rebuilt, but... Indeed. A new beginning for you and me. No, you don't understand. Attention! Emergency protocol. Force shut down Sentinel number 16. Oh my god, how dare you! It was very interesting watching Ryoko's face during that entire scene. I'm just throwing that out there. If you missed it, rewatch, because you can see her just reacting. He's like, I love Tommy Kisaragi, and she's like, you, you, punk. Oh my god. Bastard! She'll be asleep until all of this is over. That's the last variable taken care of. I think our work here is done. We're returning to Sector 4. And you're coming with us, Shu Amiguchi. As will you, Shinonome-kun. Come on. You know you need me. Girl, no. Hey, really? That's Shoot him. Girl. We're leaving. Collect the equipment. Ryoko, shoot him. Come on. I know what you've really been trying to do. Back then, 
All those knights in the lab? You weren't trying to bring her back. You wanted to remake Kisaragi the way you wanted her to be. Ida, you think we're the same person? You're nothing like me! I'd never use a girl as some tool! <sighs> Little shit! Stop right there! Yeah. Don't move. Damn it. Honey, good you could. Hurry. Right. You hurt Yuki-chan? Amiguchi. Uh, she no know me. Uh, you can be such an inconvenience. Speaking of. <gasps> Amiguchi! Takamiya kun, I suggest you come quietly, or Amiguchi will suffer the consequences. You son of a bitch! Yuki-chan, don't risk it! <sighs> if we could hurry this up... On it, sir. What? hours later so this goes there okay nice so that's all set then let's do this <sighs> no dice you need to take this seriously hey you want to do this yourself be my guest Keep it cool. He's doing fine. Yuki-chan, I promised I'd save her. I'm going after her, no matter what it takes. It doesn't seem as if the director's coming back. Which means it may be up to us to find our way back home. Probably best to work together for now. So you guys really have no idea how to work all this stuff? Our intel suggested it's just not possible for us. The only ones with clearance and ability are the special miners. But we'll certainly make an effort. Can't your robot do something to solve this? It's capable of transporting us across time, correct? Hell if I know, man. My senpai was the one who set up the time travel. Sure, I can fly the thing. But I'd have no idea how to get us home. How much does your organization know? Do they have any real info on how this place works? Well, it's a UFO made by scientists of the future. Since before our time, it's been buried here, deep underground. Okay, so you're basically clueless. Sound about right? Come on, out of the way. <sighs> this is nothing like my microcomputer at home. Damn it. This doesn't look good. I can't help Miyuki and Abba. I can't even go after Yuki-chan. What am I supposed to do here? <gasps> Where'd the console go? Did it work? No. It just started moving by itself. Not to know. Minami? Ami Gucci kun? The data unit. Men in black. What? What? I don't remember that happening. Did I forget that happening? <laughs> Oh my god, Tommy Kisaragi. Oh, trophy Aaron story cleared for Amaguchi. Woo! Uh, Tommy Kisaragi unlockable meta chips. 3857 mystery files updated. Damn. Four event archives and the idol in orbit. Damn. All right. Well, Jesus. 
Um, let's unlock her. Very nice. Uh, let's go over to our mystery files. Um, do I want to save this for next time? Maybe. The episode's getting a little long. We might read them next time, just to pick up. Ah, oh, but dang! Okay, now, you know what? After seeing more sides of the coin, uh, Ryoko is not on my hate list anymore. I understand. You know, she's had it really rough in terms of losing her memories. Like, she really doesn't know what's going on half the time. But she did the right thing there um, and uh, shot the guy after she punched Tetsuya in the face. So, that was good. Um, man, uh, you know, it's, it's interesting to see how, like... Very quickly, Tetsuya has become more and more like bad in my eyes. Now, I'm not saying he's evil or a villain, but his his uh, motives seem the least good to me right now. Like, uh, it's interesting that Shu brings up that he's not just trying to revive her, but he's trying to make her the way he wants her to be. It's a very, very interesting viewpoint. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see what happens uh, in terms of you know what resolves with that matter. I don't remember Natsuno being transported there, but maybe we didn't see that in her plotline, or I'm just forgetting. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I'm excited to jump back in next time. We'll finish up Tomi. Well, first we'll read the files that we just unlocked. We'll finish up Tomi, and then we might jump into someone who um, has a little more stake in the game. Maybe Juro, maybe Iori, one of the two. Um, and then Seki Gahara, obviously Goto, and um, Hijiyama. And Mira, once we can finally finish him. But yeah, we'll jump back in probably with these two after we finish up Tomi. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Um, we're at 72 and 71. We're getting close to the end there, I feel like. Um, but we still have a lot to go, actually. But uh, yay, episode 40. Yay, a thousand views on the first episode. Um, it means the world to me. So um, yeah, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, subscribe, whatever you guys are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.